Hello everyone. In Zoho Invoice, your customers get access to the customer portal. Using this, they can easily manage their estimates, invoices, payments and other transactions all in one place. In this video, we'll learn all about the customer portal in Zoho Invoice. First, let's see how to enable the customer portal. Log in to your Zoho Invoice account. Go to the Customers module and select the customer that you wish to enable the portal access for. On the Customer Details page, click Invite to Portal. An invitation will be sent to your customer's email address. Your customer can accept or reject the invitation. For this video, let's say that your customer chooses to accept the invitation. To complete the process, set up the login password. Your customer has successfully logged into the portal. Now let's configure the customer portal. You would first need to decide on the level of access you give to your customers. To configure the customer portal, click the gear icon at the top right corner, select preferences and click customer portal. You can now configure the settings for the customer portal. The portal name is auto-generated. However, you can change the portal name if you wish to. Enter a banner message. It will be displayed at the top of the home page. Check the following boxes as required. Allow customers to sign up to the portal using the link shared with them. Receive notifications about your customer's portal activity. Email notification to customers when you add comments. Allow customers to edit their basic details such as their address and display name. Allow customers to forward documents from the portal. Request for customer reviews. Allow your customers to view certain project related information in the portal. After this, click save to confirm the action. You have successfully configured the customer portal in your organization. Let's look into the various functions that can be performed on the customer portal. The home page gives an overview of the payments made, credits available, customer profile and documents shared. The customer can have a look at this page and make business decisions accordingly. Under estimates, your customers can accept Decline, Download, Forward, Print Estimates and add further information or interact in real time in the comments box. Under Invoices, your customers can forward, print, download as PDF and choose to pay for invoices online. They can also filter the invoice and sort it by number, date or amount. Apart from this, the customer can also choose to pay in bulk by selecting multiple invoices at once. The Payments Made section shows the list of all the payments made by the customer. This helps them keep track of their payables. The customer can view all the transactions that took place between the vendor and the customer over a given period under the Statements module. The customer can choose the period for which they would like to view the statements from here. Apart from these functions, you can also integrate with the Zoho Sales IQ app to help your customers initiate chats and talk to the support agent in real time. This will help you manage and provide quality support to your customers. To integrate with Sales IQ, go to Settings and select Integrations. Click the Connect option against Zoho Sales IQ. To confirm your action, click Connect now. In the pop-up that appears, select the portal that you wish to connect with and the website. Click Integrate to confirm the action. You have successfully integrated with the Zoho Sales IQ app. Your customers can now view the chat widget in the customer portal. 
That's it for now folks. We hope you've got a good understanding of how the customer portal works in Zoho Invoice. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zohoenvoice.com. If you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. Thank you.